Hello everybody, Dave here, uh, for uh, the next episode of Dave Gets Wood and uh, yeah, I want to the next few pieces, I'm just trying to sort out some of the, uh, the old sanding sheets. So, I wasn't going to do any more today, because it's the same day as the previous video, but then I figured, yeah, fuck it, I have not much else to do. Um, and also, I got further than I was expecting to earlier. Um, right, okay, so moving on to the next few pieces, um, which are these ones. Um, two of those and one of these. Uh, so, let's, uh, we might as well crack on, haven't we? So, let's get the camera into the last one. Let's try to. Uh, So I've not actually had a look around these ones for a while to see what they might need. That's all looking quite tidy in there. Got a little bit of a groove there, but can sand that. We've got a bit of a chip there. I'll carve that out. Holes themselves look alright. Bit on there. Yeah, it's catching the glove. Okay. Uh, let's start, start with this bit. So, uh, let's be a little carefully. I don't want to go too deep. Um, because of the, the drill hole there, not drill hole, screw hole. But I feel it would be nice to do with being sharpened. I started taking quite a split there. Okay, that is quite deep, but let's see what we can do. Right, I mean, like quite often I've done is I could have just left that, I could have just fell down. If there's a hole, then that's not quite right as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I do now need to be careful and see if that goes too far. I'll be going into the hole.
here. But the hole, the bigger hole is just about gone. has now gone. Although the bit that I want to just get rid of now is there, all of this bit has got to come off as well. Because if I don't take it off, it will come off on its own. And it's got it had quite the edge. To just go for dremeling it. Now I've got most of it off. a little further back just to try and smooth that out a little bit and then go and dig way too deep well done you jackass And the rest of that bit will sort that out. We've got a little stub there that needs to be moved. Sort of roughly carve them out and then get a hand sand swing them. Okay, we'll get this one there. 
Sunday. A groove there which has been filled previously but I'm just hoping that sanding it will just sand it more smooth if not I'll have to I'll have to dig it out well if it doesn't sound smooth it means that the stuff that's in the groove is not um, fixed in there secure so it'll have to come out Thankfully on this one there's not too much that needs to do in. Um, but 
I'm getting a lot of wonder why I just use a power sander for this bit. Again, it's too brutal. Um, this is more delicate work rather than needing power. What's that one done? I'm going to move on to the next one. That's all. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one uh, first because I know that one's going to be going into the glue area. Now, this one, unfortunately, does have a number of marks and scratches on this side, but I'm not going to try working it down to get all of those out. Uh, but we are going to need to do some tidying elsewhere. I mean, it's possible that they may come out with a little bit of sanding. It's also possible that they might not. So what I'm looking for here is any splits or cracks that could turn into splits which is what these two were or where these have got divots where big sort of chunks come out of it um, so just tie it be able to tidy up with a with a car. So it ain't perfect, but it'll look better. Especially if I'm giving it a bit of a sand in. So there's no major cracks and stuff on there Let's see if we can just tidy these ends up a little bit maybe it's probably the wrong carving tool for it but once again I can roughly carve it and then uh, sand it nicer I was going to say as well, this wood is a bit softer so it's a bit easier to work with, but this bit's quite hard. Right. This edge. So there's a few marks there, but there isn't anything that's sort of gouged.
is quite difficult to see if some of these are cracks here. You might just have to take the precaution. Yeah, that was. Um, but if I take the precaution of sort of digging them out a bit anyway, it should be alright. But basically, because of this, this edge is, is rough cut, it was given a slightly different appearance. Now, I may have been better off sanding that first. There's no point carving anything on there um, until it's been sanded. Then the edge has taken a bit of a, a beating, but it's nothing that really at the moment warrants a big cut out or carve on it. So anyway, I'm just going to look see if I can see any sort of big splinters or cracks, and there isn't any. It's all looking pretty good. That's as good as it can be for now. Just give the edge a little bit. Now, there's a good chance that this may require the power sander to really get that cleaned up. If it does, that's not happening today. Okay. So ideally, Sanding this, it should end up being just as smooth as any of the other sides. And what I should have done doing your head in you can always shake your head at the same time and then your eyes will be normal. I'm just gonna give that a quick vac because that's created a lot of dust. This whole ledge is still going to need more, but at least now I know I don't need to power sand, so 
I don't need to rush to get this uh, this side down yet. It's a more for the purpose of this particular video. Oh, let's, give it, let's get the most of it sanded down. And, uh, I've done a little bit of carving now. this one we know that this needs gluing because this is the one with the gap and uh, these um, I'm just thinking actually because of how long this is gonna take I think I might do this on its own video um, because I am gonna need well, actually no I don't need to do them I'm just doing the carving at the moment. Okay, right. We can check it out for anywhere that needs carving and then we can put it onto the glue pile. Because this is what this one is gonna take some time on its own. Uh, 
in the box that I've got there I'm happy with. Okay, well, well that answers that question, it didn't need any carving. Okay, uh, well not really. Uh, I don't really want to fuck about in there at the minute. Uh, but, I'm just wondering whether, whether I try something, no, I was wondering whether I sort of carve that a bit of a groove or sand it a little groove, that might be a bad idea. Um, just a little bit, so when it comes to... glue in it. Okay, the sawdust in there at the moment we won't be there the same. Just thinking that it should hopefully help the glue go where it needs to go. I mean at the end of the day it's only going to be a tiny little amount that's going to be there. Um, Now as tempting as it would have been to leave that sawdust in there then, um, if I had then whatever repair work I, was, I would do to it wouldn't work because the sawdust that is in there isn't connected to anything and any glue that goes on it would be connecting to the sawdust which isn't connected to anything so it would just fall out. Um, now the way that I'm doing I, I'll attempt repairing this is well well it's gonna be a wooden glue mixture but it's kind of gonna be thinly applied and just spread over there let to dry and then we'll sand it off these will be slightly different um, because with these what I'm gonna do is Well, I was going to put a little bit of a dowel in there, but to be honest, the, the holes aren't that deep. Um, hmm. now I will. I'm going to chop up some of my small dowels and I'll glue them into those holes. I mean, if I wanted to do this perfectly, the way I would have done it or could do it would be to take the screws out knock the dowels in to re knock them down to as far as the screw heads are now like redrill the holes put the dowels in then it's repaired by the wood dowels and then glue them on top but i want it to be sturdy which is why i've gone for the screws i'm not going to hide them um, but i will put dowels in there just the tips um, i'll pre-cut them um, so that i can put some glue in there push them in um, leaving a gap which will then fill with the sawdust and glue mixture. So that is those ones done. So at the moment we've only got the two pieces that are heading over to the to the glue factory. This one I am concerned with um, because that hole is connected to that hole and it's connected to that hole. Oh, and it's also connected to that hole and to this split. So. Uh, Anything I try putting in there could be awkward unless, unless, I mean I could try getting fancy with it but I don't really, I don't really see the point, not with where it's going to be, um, it is going to be hidden, it's going to be up against a piece of wood, 
but if it was going to be a visible piece I think the way that I would do it is I would glue this crack I'd plug that hole probably with a, a dowel just temporarily and potentially that one I would then try and get some glue down into the bowels of the hole there and then try filling it up with resin and have it as a, a coloured resin coming down but because it's hidden I'm not going to do that I'll, I'll we'll glue it um, I'll glue that crack and I'll glue that because um, it, it doesn't feel like it's coming apart at the moment so that's for gluing and at the moment that's for gluing of the pieces we've got left we've got the four brackets of which um, they shouldn't be there shouldn't be too much to do on them because four pieces and the brand fucking new so three of them are brand new and what isn't then we're on to the two really long pieces that are like this and one of those does have uh, an awkward spot that I'm gonna need to to deal with um, but I shall assess that um, <coughs> Yeah, I shall assess that over the next few uh, days um, because now we've got to this part and I know that there's only those few bits left. I can do the four brackets next um, and then focus on the two big pieces. Once we're done, we've uh, sort of carved those two big pieces. We know we're on to the repair. And to be honest, I was expecting to be doing much more gluing by this point than just these two. So. I'm actually feeling fairly confident about uh, about that, but this is also why I want to get to the all of the pieces up to the point of gluing, so that I can do the gluing once rather than uh, I could have glued this when I done did the others, and then do glue this today, and then glue the next lot on the next one. I just I'd rather just do it once, uh, especially with having to mix up quite a bit, it's a bit like doing, using resin. If I only need a little bit of resin, I might as well wait until I can use more. Now, obviously, it's one of the reasons why I bought the uh, the coasters and things like that, is so that if I do need a little resin, and I haven't got anything else I need to use it for, then I can at least um, make some um, coasters. Okay, right, I'm done for today. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more, uh, so I'm going to chill out, get cleaned up, have a beer, and uh, yeah, take it easy. Right, have a good everybody, and uh, I'll see you again soon.